Good morning, good evening, good night. It's your boy Evolutionary Knight back at it again. Another video. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, hit that like and subscribe. Spend some time with me. Show me some love. You know what I'm saying? Having a lot of fun with this game. Uh, really enjoying it. I made a lot of progress. Uh, I've played for a while now, a few months, I want to say it is. Uh, I'm on NA Server 4. Uh, the competition's heating up in the PvP arena area. Uh, a lot of new characters are showing their faces. So I'm currently ranked six. Um, I, I, it's hard to keep up with the big boys here. You know, they're already, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're doing numbers, man. So um, doing my best to stay up with them. I'm in six right now, doing good. Uh, I think it's a healthy place. As long as you remain in the top 10, I think you get decent rewards. So I, I'll fight to, to stay there. Um, I, I, I thought I'd change up the pace a little bit and do a, uh, now that I've played for a while, uh, a, a do and do not video, right? Uh, what, what, what I suggest versus, you know, what you do is up to you. But number one above all is tickets, right? I, I fell into the, I got a ticket spend it mentality where I just wanted to spend my tickets, right? I see something new and shiny. Look, she's new and shiny. I got to have her, right? But the problem is the more tickets you put into her doesn't necessarily mean that you'll get to use her right away. So for instance, right, say, say I'm chasing uh, Natalus here and I put 100, 200 you know, tickets into him. I'm still not going to be able to use him. That's not enough to get him to a mortal. That's not enough to really play with him. So to me, even even getting the single one isn't worth it at this point for me. I, I sat down and I really thought about it because I'm revamping my account on, you know, what direction I want to go from here. Like, uh, you know, I, so I, I sat down and remap my account, right? With the double chip, the double chip, if I shoot for 60, it's going to give me 120 anyway right so it kind of balances itself out so if you want to shoot for the 60 randoms I, I think it's better to shoot for the 60 randoms because you're getting uh for the initial character to grab the initial character uh with the guaranteed 60 and the reason i say that is because uh in the process of going after those 60 you can actually get an extra one and you get extra food so i you know going after that 60 is fine because if you wait, what I suggest also, what I'm going to suggest after the 60, you wait for the double chip. Because if I do 60, it's going to give me 120 anyway. And I'm going to be able to single purchase one of Bata. But I'm not going to be able to get, if I if I wait for the next one, then I'm not going to be able to, you know, get, also get maybe an extra shot at her or whatever it may be. So if it's a character that you're interested in, I do suggest going for the, the 60. Uh, or if it's this character you want now if it's another one and you just wait and stack your double chips right then it'd be that specific character that you're going after so if that character <laughs> you know in, in that time frame you'll get extra copies of that character and you can buy one of her so that, that's a kind of the uh the you know the different ways that you can play it do i want to go after her okay i do 60 i'll, I'll get 120 regardless uh, or do i want to save it for excuse me i get 60 i'll get 60 back or do i want to save it for the double chip and go after the double chip right so i'll get a guaranteed copy of the double chip i'll get 120 and get a copy of her in the process plus whatever i can get extra in the double chip uh as far as characters i could actually get her to drop i, I mean excuse me i can get that double chip to drop at the time or whatever, whatever it may be so to sum it up i know i'm all over the place it kind of sounds like but if you wait for the double chip for every event i think you get more out of it so if you can save these characters if you can save these tickets for your double chip event you'll get the original 60 from the double chip right so you'll get that character that's in the double chip whoever's up you can buy her in that process as 120 chips you'll get her for the price of one you know for for the price of one you'll get two plus you'll get whatever drops in the process you know, you can cut it out and just go after her. And when there's no double chip and you'll just get her and whatever drops in the process. But if you wait for the double chip, you'll get whoever's on the uh, banner for the double chip plus the uh, reward. So patience is key when it comes to uh, these are tickets. I really, really suggest that you wait for the double chip event. You, you just get the most out of it in the long run. You know, you're going to get the most out of the double chip events. You'll get the most character copies during the double chip event because you'll be able to purchase more for the price of one so i highly 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 suggest that um 
so advanced recruitment recruit uh, the advanced recruitment cards you want to uh wait for recruitment events right i, I early on i fell into the you know mentality of it's <laughs> it's shiny let me spend it spend it spend it right so now you can see i'm at 75 i saved all mine from the last event uh until now so i was able to throw 75 at it so i got all these juicy rewards that they have out there and if i can get a few more i'll end up with the 1500 gems but again it's t for the advancement chips these being the advancement chips here excuse me um the advancement recruiting chips i suggest you save them until there's a recruitment event so you should be stacking these up to there's a recruitment event so you can get uh those rewards for them during the recruitment event uh let's see another thing i hate the wasteland all right highly dislike the wasteland it just seems so monotonous right he's just in there and uh, it's click 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 it just it seems like it's a time killer um but wasteland has some very 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 solid uh or rewards drops so make sure you do your wasteland daily it's highly worth it uh it was tough for me i i missed a lot of them so i fell short on uh rubelite right now so rubelite is holding me back so i should have focused on that and stayed in tune with that and i didn't so i kind of regret that uh that i did not all right ancient altar you know for those that are newer on their accounts make sure that you wait until saturday sunday to do your ancient altar because throughout the week your characters are gaining more power it'll be a lot easier for those that are already there just make sure that you two key hell. You're not three keying it. Um, if you three, key, if you one key hell, you don't get the max rewards. Um, so you have to two key it, so that way you get the max damage done. So you'll get the max rewards for it. And you can do it anytime throughout the week uh, if you can already two key it and one key to rest. So there's no big problem in that. But just make sure you two key it. Uh, make sure you end of the week. One of the best events. My favorite event so far in the game as far as consistency consistency and reward is rise of hero i love rise of hero uh i use my gems to reset it and the rewards for doing the rise of hero in my opinion is amazing you get a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of exclusive material which is one of the hardest things to come by if you're not paying cash for it uh so i really i i really like the um rise of heroes because every rise of hero i i basically maxed out uh with character copies on the rise of hero once you get to the point to where you can down the last boss it becomes easy uh, with the raffle uh i go until i hit the mega jackpot once i hit the mega jackpot i reset it right but you, look at man you're getting gene hybrids you're getting epic elites you're getting supplements diamonds like it's just some of the best resources in games or in this event Plus, you're getting character copies. So, I, again, I immortalized. Everyone that was in a Rise of Heroes on my account is immortalized, right? So, we had Sinway, right? Um, Sinway, Ka, and Nagrama, right? Just easily immortalizing. Very, 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 very easy event. I, I really like it. Uh, very beneficial. All right, another thing. I did wrong, right? I, I spread out my exclusive material, the red exclusive material. I spread it out, and now I I don't want to say I regret it because my account has pushed pretty far. But what I have, but I, I can feel myself slowing down. Um, in the in the instance to where I would have, right? I'm one short here, right? But I pumped 25 on Sarita or. Maserani, you know, I got him at 25. I have these characters all around here at different levels. 22, right? Give those two back. At 20, he'd have been perfect. Give those two back. I would have been good. You know, just, just small things like that on my account are, you know, I, I think would make my account push just a little bit harder. It, it isn't the end of the world, but I suggest to you guys that when you do an exclusive, make sure that character is a character that you plan on using throughout the long run. Uh, I jumped in and, you know, not really knowing what's going on. I started using my exclusives. So I, I maxed out Bailey, of course. Bailey's a monster, but, you know, uh, 
it's I, I should have put I, I should have focused and used the path for my exclusive so that's what I'm doing now so right now my goal plan now is um, Bailey who's already done it's gonna be Leo and then Daniel after that I'm gonna swap to my healers I really like Daniel I think he is a monster of a character uh, his damage is is insane his uh, CC would uh, stun with the bear all oh, he's just a very very solid character I don't have him fully maxed out yet or min max as far as gear and he is he, he will put out damage if the situation is right uh, sometimes the situation has to be perfect other times you can still put out the damage I really like him as a character I think he goes well with Leo uh, spinning back and forth as long as you can set that bear to where it's a solid stun and Leo can stun it can spin back and forth I think you'll get a lot done you'll get a lot of progression uh, Daniel will be one of my main characters Daniel Leo Bailey uh, Maserani Sarita those are my like main team uh, with Crete uh, coming in and out um, Raph coming in and out and uh, Emma coming in and out depending on where I need them at um, but those are my focus there um, let's see immortalizing characters right so I would spend all my tickets on a character and I just wouldn't get it right where it need to be. So I start spreading my hybrids around my gene hybrids around and just using them randomly, like leveling up people across the board instead of focusing on one character. I highly suggest that you gene hybrid one character till you get them where you want them. Right. And get them maxed out and then. All right, start investing in another. I spread mine out so I had like two star mortals all over the place and things like that. Uh, starting off, as you see, Maserani came after Daniel, but Daniel was almost done where I could have had Maserani done already. Those are just the small things that, you know, you, you really need to look at. I could have had Emma done, but I did Daniel. Same thing with Raph. Um, I should have focused instead of a game plan. So that's what I'm doing now from this point on, right, is, is setting a game plan focusing on my characters all right this is the character that's going to get all the love boom give them the love get them maxed out move on to the next i highly suggest that come up with a solid game plan to make sure that uh it fits uh exactly what you're trying to accomplish uh, another thing is the wish list keep your wish list up to date um what you don't want is to continue to get duplicates of characters that you don't need so uh, make sure that you're updating your wish list uh, I was tempted to remove everybody off the wish list and just put one, but I, I figured, you know, if I don't know if there's a chance where where the wish list pops and the only one person gets it, or it could have been that one person and not. So I keep them all on there just in case it's slot based. I'm not 100% sure about that, but that's how I do it. Um, I think that covers tips and hints for me. Uh, the shop. I buy all the Rubenite again because I'm behind uh, exclusive material. If you need exclusive material, I suggest you buy it there. Also, this is a good spot to get it. You can also reset here for 100 diamonds and you can purchase the Rubenite or whatever again to make sure that you, you know that you're getting the max out of it. Um, my wasteland, I'm buying up tickets here in the wasteland. Same thing. My dismissal used to have 93k. I have tons, tons. So this is for food. I have tons of food as is. Um, so I don't really mess with that. I buy my uh, the red prototypes there. I, I make sure I buy those as well. Uh, one thing I like to do with my food, I'll, I'll show you guys here. So let's see. Let's max it. We'll buy all ten of those. So when I evolve, oh, I don't have enough to evolve, but let's see, let's see. Here we go. So when I evolve a character, I'll evolve this out, right? Just take the time to do it because if you do this, right? So I get them the gold and I go to convert. I go to convert. I can convert them over into little gold balls. You can auto select to convert them over. And those gold balls will sit in your uh, inventory in a separate inventory. So it doesn't count toward. It doesn't count toward the inventory slot. So if you have a ton of food or you want to take up, uh, if you want to uh, make a ton of food, you can convert them over into the gold balls. And it's just like gene hybrids at that point. Uh, when you go to turn someone else gold or take them to the next level, you can use that as instead of a gene hybrid 
to get them to that level. Uh, let's see if I have the opportunity here. So we can do it here, right? Boom. No. Nah. But you'll see, like, when, when, you, when you level a character, when you level up your characters or you take them to the next level and you need that gold character in between, those gold balls will pop up. And uh, they don't take up a slot, so it, 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 it to me is beneficial. So I go through and I turn all my purples into gold there, and and that's uh, just just small things that I like to use to get it done. Uh, make sure that you're leveling your commanders. Make sure that you're doing your at, at a minimum your free dungeons daily. Uh, those mean a lot, right? Because of the commanders and stuff like that. I also take some of the commanders and I level them to level twelve. To see who's on the unlock border. So we go to the command post. I level on level 12. See who's on the unlock border and see if it's worth uh, getting. But so see here. Uh, some of them. Uh, I just started doing this. So you see how they get to level 12. I see whose ultimate it is. I'm like, yeah, the characters are not, you know, what characters I need. So I stopped doing it. But that's pretty much it for me. I uh, appreciate y'all. Hit the like and subscribe. My do's and don'ts. If you have any suggestions, go ahead and put it in the comments. Or if you don't like what I said or you agree, go ahead and put it in the comments. You know, um, maybe there's things that I haven't put in here that you can suggest that will help me as well. I appreciate you. Uh, nothing but love and peace. Have a good day.